Hi, my name is Jeff Marsh, and this is my P4 presentation for my innovation. I'm going to talk to you today about wine aeration. Wine aeration is an important part of wine tasting and how wine tastes. In Canada, the amount of wine that is sold has grown from 2006 from 374 million litres to almost 600 million litres in 2016. It is well known that wine, especially red wine, benefits from aeration. There's a large market of wine aerators with varying effectiveness on the market. Most wines that are bought are consumed within eight years of bottling and benefit the most from aeration. Wine, we've all heard about wine aging. The aging process tends to make the wine mellow. The tannins in the wine are oxidized and this leads to a better tasting wine. Now that's why aged wines are usually considered to be more valuable. But most people don't age their wine and they use the process of aeration to make their wines taste better. There are a lot of different types of wine aerators. There's decanting where you pour the wine into another facility or another vessel. There's spouts that attach to the end of the wine bottle that your wine pours through and air is mixed in with the wine. There's a venturi type, and this is the one that I particularly use, where you pour the wine in and then you pour it by the glass. And blenders, yes, yeah, so there's a trend right now. There's one of these life hack things where people are suggesting you pour the wine into a blender, run it through the blender for about 10, 15 seconds, and that's doing a, a much better job of aerating your wine. So what I've come up with is a better solution. This is my upside. So it's discreet. You can do it away from your guests. You don't have to have it in front of them. It's no drip. A lot of these things that go into the spout end up dripping and making a mess. It's quick. And you can do multiple bottles. If you're having a, a large dinner party or whatever, you can do a couple of bottles, put them on the table and not have to worry about it. And you can also control the amount of aeration that goes into the wine. So if you want to aerate a little bit more, you can taste it, add some more aeration to it. <clears throat> you can. With the other ones where you're pouring it through, you get as much aeration as those devices give you. So my design here, I put a little sketch in here. So what it consists of is a high speed mixer and air pump at the top, a hollow stainless steel mixing shaft, a flexible mixing blades, and micro air diffuser at the bottom. So when you operate the device, air goes in the top through the pump and is pumped out through the bottom as the mixing occurs within the bottle. The downside here is it's, it's gonna be a little more expensive than some of these other devices. It's simple to use. Basically you get a bottle of wine, you insert the aerator, turn on the mixer and aerate as little or as much as needed. Compatible fit, clear message here. So wine aficionados know about wine aeration. This is something that's well documented. Um, you know, you've probably done it yourself where you open a bottle of wine, you have a glass or two, you have a half a bottle there, you try it the next day or two days later, and it tastes a lot better. It appeals to people who enjoy wine. Like I said, this is something that is well known in the wine community. And the bottom line, it is a matter of taste. There's a lot of people that do believe that uh, the wine aeration does improve the taste of their wine. And if you look online or you look in any wine store, the, the market is full of gadgets that are sole purpose are for the aeration of wine. The downside here, this is going to be a little bit bigger device than a lot of people are used to. And you know, it's um, it take up a little more room in the, the cupboard for sure. And it's not a showpiece. So, you know, a lot of these like canters and things like that, they're fancy crystal or, you know, they're a nice little gadget that uh, a bit of a conversation piece. <clears throat> so credible messenger, reliable performance. I personally use an aerator, so I, I, I do see the benefit of um, aerating wine, some wines. There's lots of testimonials and expert opinion out there on whether or not um, aeration of wine is something that is useful and it's a positive. Bottom line again, it's a matter of taste. Um, most people that will purchase an, a wine aerator have developed a taste for wine and they know that it does make a difference. And it's better than a blender. I'm pretty sure most people will agree with that. Downside, 
again it's not for every wine now, if, you, if you're into red wines in particular and full-bodied wines then you're going to see the benefit of uh, the, their wine or eater more than if you're a white wine drinker and it might not be any more effective than any other devices but again that's a matter of taste easy in easy out so it doesn't have to be used there's nothing saying that you need to use this device you can keep it in your cupboard and only use it for special occasions or when you want to try something else uh, I'll provide a satisfaction guarantee so if you're not happy with the device you can return it for a full refund it's easy to purchase and easy to use you air it in the bottle so again there's no extra glassware that you need to purchase no decanters um, you know you can do as many bottles as you want you don't need to do it by the glass and on the downside there's a bit more of an upfront cost and it's another wine gadget in your cupboard so that's my innovation so please enjoy my demo and cheers <laughs>